talk about The Sims 4! Hello guys, and welcome to another review video. This time we're reviewing The Sims 4. Cuz. Yeah, Why not? Are. Okay, Sims 4 is all out a great game. And the fact that fact. they converted it to the console is also great. Fact. And the fact that they made it work is also great. It's just a great game. Period. But EA. EA. Okay. You need to get your prices straight. Your prices are worse than Epic Games. Oh, there is a there is an add-on for The Sims 4, right? And it's called the Get Together add-on. Or the Get Together Pack. Well, guess how much that little add-on is? How much? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? All it does is add a couple of features. You're able to make a club, and that's it. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, EA. I'm not even done. There's oh snap. There's a lot of add-ons, just like the Get Together add -on pack, that just adds tiny little features and little like buildings and stuff. The lowest price for those are thirty dollars. That says it all, EA. That says it all. Then, then, then you got the little add-ons, the little add-ons, that add useless stuff. They add little Period. tiny decorations. They're like six dollars. Lowest price is like three dollars. Now that, I can get behind. But when you just add little stuff to it, barely anything, that makes me mad, okay? You added barely anything in the add-ons. Period. Again, The Sims 4. It's a great game. I love The Sims series. It's a great saga. It's a great game. But the prices... Need to go down. They need to disappear. Because <laughs> it's just... It's just... Oh, it makes you go, why did I get this game? Because it makes you question why you got it. Because, number one, the prices are just crazy. It's unbelievable. Period. Unbelievable. And then, I oh my god, I game. hate it, I hate it so much. I was playing The Sims 4 uh, yesterday when I got home from Galveston. And, um, when I got on, I found this little feature. And, uh, I tried to go to the building, right? Mm-hmm. It did one of those things where... When you enter it, it says, you have not purchased this DLC yet. So I go to the store and see what the DLC is. It's a little pack. And it's $40. 40 bucks! Now, EA, you need to get your prices straight. You make good games. But literally all you do with your add-ons is just beg for money. Is it really worth the money? I don't know. To form a club? Like, come on. On PC, you can get a mod for The Sims 4 that lets you make a club for free. Oh, snap. Spill the tea. They need to get their prices straight, man. I think this is going to be longer than the Fortnite review video. Facts. <laughs> if you agree with us, please leave a like and subscribe. And <laughs> comment down below that you agree. Please share our videos with your friends. We need yes. subscribers. We do. We need subscribers. And remember, our uh, Minecraft roleplay is still on. So go join the Discord. We have 191 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Almost 200, y'all. That's our goal. If we get to 200, we're going to have a big surprise, correct? Yes, we're going to have to figure something out for it, though. <laughs> uh, again, thank you guys so much for uh, 191 subscribers. We never thought we would make it this far. 
We're gonna have to make a thank you video after this. Yeah. Because this is a review video, not a thank you video. Anyway, back to The Sims. The lowest price for any of their, like, big add-ons. And I use that in quotes. Big add-ons. Lowest price for the one of the biggest add-ons on Sims 3 is, like, $70. Expensive. Now, no, 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 no. I can get why they made it expensive. It adds a lot of stuff. It's a huge bundle. But still, if you buy all those add-ons separately, it's less than the bundle. It's a lot less. It's like fifty-five dollars if you buy all of them separately. But if you buy the uh, bundle, it's like seventy dollars. Try to explain. Can you even explain why they would do that? No. And yes, I still play The Sims Three. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just don't get it, EA. You need to fix your prices. None of them make sense. Period. That is the end of this review video. Period! Someone who works at EA, if you see this video, you better tell, you better, you better say something. Because honestly, some you're losing stuff. players. You're losing players. You are losing players, EA. And the fact is, are we going to talk about the good things in Sims? Because... Uh, would you like to start it off? Yes. Go ahead. I love the cost customization because it, it like... I've never seen a game that, like, you can extend the face and pull it out with before. You I've see, never this, seen a game... Hang on, this goes back to my point of saying that EA actually makes great games. Yeah. But the, just, the prices are, like, just... Ah! They make you go, Correct. why? Alright, continue. So, the customization is good. Um, the thing is, is the houses you can customize. That's cool. I love that. Uh -huh. I really want them to add some things for Pride. Because, yeah, because I would make, like, more people play it, like, more often. Because there's lots of people part of the um, I don't know LGBT if you noticed, group. but I'm pretty sure they ended the entire Sims series with just The Sims 4. Really? I'm pretty sure they did. Pretty sure they, they ended should it do that right with there. the PlayStations. Like... I don't want to, cause I'm a, I'm gonna go off on a rant real quick. Hang on, hang on. Save that for a different review video. Okay. So I really want them to add more, like more, like the character build, the character development is also great. Yes. The fact that you can just create your own little world and like your own little story and like a little tiny yeah. game is amazing. That is amazing. The facts are good customization for houses and people, and- Oh! oh sorry. Yeah, Sky's playing Fortnite, by the way. She's playing this as we're reviewing. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, overall, it's a good game, but they need to lower their prices. Because if, if they don't, then they're going to lose lots of game, like lots of players. Mm-hmm. I think that's the end of the review video. Uh, again- we're going to make a thank you video right after this. This is yes. the makeup for the three days I've missed. Uh, I was in Galveston. We were going to the beach for three days. Um, Let's go to the beach, beach. Okay. Nikki Majaj. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to see more review videos, leave a like. Please subscribe. We need we need subscribers. Road, Fact. road to 1,000. <laughs> road to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> yes. Do you think we'll ever get there? Mm, I'm not sure. Probably not. Uh, you never know. <laughs> I don't you have... never know. You never know, bro. Our upload schedule definitely needs to be better. <laughs> Facts. Because, for those of you who don't know, we were, like, 
gone for like three months. Mm hmm. And then no, we just can't. School. We've made multiple breaks in our YouTube career. But now, since it's summer, we're uploading. Yes, I'm so excited for the summer. Oh! Oh, let's see. Let's see. Before, if quarantine ever ends, and if we go swimming, we can use the GoPro. If you still have it. Uh, I do. Facts. Anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. We need them. And if you like us, please subscribe. We're not forcing you to subscribe yet. We're not um, forcing you. We're just tormenting you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're tormenting you with our content. Uh, yeah. Please check out my personal channel. Official C Time 14. Please. Please. <laughs> please. Anyway. Please do it. Uh, more review videos to come because I like I love making these. Uh, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.